Stewart right here, Buzz TV. Great show this week, and we're going to change some things up. First, we start with a little chat with Exodus. Then we talk to a good friend of ours, Jody. She's from the King Diamond Band. She plays the character Grandma. She'll talk a little about that, the tour, and some, well, you're just going to have to see and find out. Then we mix that up with some footage from Buzz TV Hollywood. That's right. We have our Hollywood team pretty much set back up. They have a uh, fun little shoot with Atomic Bitch Wax. And that's this week. So, here we go. Be right here, Buzz TV. Fun day for us. We're here with Exodus. How did we get that lucky? I don't know, but it's one of them days. Cool. So you having fun? Oh, we're having a great day. And yourself? Yeah, great to be back in the Sin City. So let's uh, just dive right into this fun stuff. You're in Vegas tonight. You're doing the King Diamond tour. Yeah. Tell me some new stuff about the band. Uh, tight. Uh, very violent. Got some few surprises on this, on this set, especially tonight. So typical Exodus. Want to see you in the pit? Want to see those circle pits fat? Walls of death, you know how we like it. Oh, I definitely do. And you know, this band has been around for a long, long time and is just as strong as it's ever been. Now, uh, CD-wise, new music and stuff. Yeah, well, last uh, it's been out about a year now, right. Blood and Blood Out. Still touring on it, still kicking ass. We'll play those songs as well tonight. Um, my favorite record, my favorite Exodus records, uh, great musicianship from everybody, really brilliantly written. I mean, Gary's Gary, you know what I mean? And the rest of the band is just playing the best they ever have as far as individual musicians as they play. We've all flourished, I think, and we're all big fans of our genre. And I think that's what, you know, you have to attribute that, you know, hungerness still for. That's why the music is still very good, I think, anyway. Well, the music's great. And, you know, it, it's leading into something else. You guys have been around for a while, and you've seen how this industry has gone through hella changes, up, down, sideways. Sure. And you're still a band that's bringing it really strong. If you guys had any advice to the younger cats that are trying to break in, and it's a whole new game, what advice might you throw at them? You know, don't try to break in. Play music for fun. Play music because you love music and what music is going to do for, you know, you individually. If you come at this business trying to be a rock star or you're going to try to make it and it doesn't happen for you, you may end up hating music because, you know, you may be resentful for it. So I've always told everybody, have fun. If something happens, great. If something else happens a little bigger, awesome. If 10 people pay to see you, you are kicking ass. If you sell two t-shirts a night, you are doing damn good. So, you know, as I say, it's bring it every night, especially if you have that weak crowd. We've seen bands that unfortunately don't get that. And uh, as a younger band, to me, always deliver. You don't know who one of those eight people might be, let alone word of mouth. I deliver. I think this band always delivers. I mean, that window is like we're out here on tour. It's a 24-hour day. You either have a 45-minute set or an hour and a half. That's the, your time up there. Take that time and do the best you can. And I think everybody does. That's why I think, honestly, Exodus is really on the top of their game right now. And uh, come see this band stronger than ever. Oh, Old wait. songs, new songs, you know, songs that I, I wasn't performing on, we're performing those as well. So, you know, we, we keep it going. Exodus is the history. We've heard great stuff. We have friends that have been uh, the last two L.A. shows, the San Diego stuff, you know, following Diamond around. So, you know, we've talked to people. Now, here's something. Where else is this tour taking you guys? How far are you going to be with Diamond on this? And if not, where's Exodus going to be? Well, it goes to uh, December 5th, actually. So, you know, um, and it's jumping all around the United States. So it's best to go to ExodusAttack.com to check, you know, or go to King Diamond or go to the Facebooks to check the dates. But from here we go to, we actually leave King for a few days because he takes a few days off. We headline in Phoenix and then we... We do some fear festival that uh, Phil Anselmo has in San Antonio. That's next weekend. Oh, very cool. And then um, we're off towards Louisiana, Atlanta, you know, towards that way, and then up through the Carolinas and up to Chicago, Philly, New York, all up there, Boston. So we'll be through there. Minnesota, I believe we're through there. We leaving um, the country at all on this adventure? No, we're not. We're staying. Oh, we aren't even going to Canada on this. We're just staying in the continental U.S. And then uh, January, we go to South America for three weeks. Oh, very good. And then in February, March, we're in Europe. Now, with a band like Exodus, everyone knows you. You've been around. 
the crowds in South America compared to America, tell me about them. From stuff I've seen, the bigger shows, they are just insane, they are insane. in that country. They are insane. They are insane. I, I'm an American. I love my, my, my country. I love my fans here. But and and they are our. This is where it was born. You know what I mean. And 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 especially our home fans in the Bay Area. But I mean, the intro music is rolling, and they're piled three high, spinning out of exactly. control. So I, I just think they're so excited for you to be there and for them. You know, and and they're just think about it nobody went there for years and years and years and it seems like their economy has finally in the last few years allowed them to do so and they're and bands like us who they've loved for years are really coming for it you know really hard so uh we went last october we're already going back in january and our our, our tour will be fine and they love you guys and that's the biggest thing it's you know, I see those crowds, and it kind of reminds me of maybe old 80s stadium stuff here in America. Right. Um, but they just love it. So it's great that you guys get to go back. No, we do. And, and, and we're fortunate that we, we can go back, you know, and, and there's still that contingency. My social media page every day, I get hit up on Instagram or Twitter. Zetro, come back to Brazil. Zetro, come back to Peru. When are you guys coming back to Argentina? And I don't get that every day from other countries, but every single day from South America, I get something saying, you know, come back. It, it's great, and I just love seeing that no matter where it is in the world, they just love music, and they love Exodus. They love metal. The metalheads are the, are, are, are the true community of, of, of music and, and music fans. Nobody's jamming it down their throats. They love it because they truly love it, and they feel it in their heart. And when we come to town, they truly represent, and it's great. And for 30 years, for a band like ours to be relevant, you know, think about that longevity in itself. You exactly, know? and when that's we're a tough very thing. fortunate to have that. That's why I think also we go out every night and give it every inch we have, you know, 3,000 percent because. Pants are paying good money for the shirts and coming to shows and supporting the band, and they want to get into it. I give them something to get into. That's what you guys need to get, that attitude right there. So all you young cats that are watching this, remember, you bring it or don't even do it. Just go bring it, just bring it. Because people are paying that, that money for you. That's right. Now here's the most important question of the interview. What might we have left out about Exodus that they need to know? Um, if you want to see one of the bands that have done this from the beginning, one of the originators of thrash metal and seen the violence done right, ExodusAttack.com. Find out where the slaughter is going to be near you. Come to the show. Check it out. See what we got to do for you. We're going to be out there in a few, so you'll see some of the stuff on stage. Zetro and the band. We'll even spin it around and make sure you see some of the pit that you need to be in. That's right. But for us, for Zetro, and it was truly our pleasure getting to chat Thank with you. you. Thank you very and much. And Exodus, we're out of here, guys. We'll see you guys later tonight. See ya. See ya. On the tour. How's it going? It's going pretty great. Now tell us what you're doing in the Abigail show. Uh, well, there's a lot of treats during this particular show. Um, I think everybody is really excited to see the entire Abigail album played out. Uh, for me, it's a lot of fun because there's so much, um, so much of the characters that I get to do uh, since it's such a, a pretty thick storyline going on. Um, but there's also some Merciful Fate treats in store for people as well as a couple other of King's songs to, to start out the evening. Nice. And how long have you been on the tour? The tour, so I guess we've only really been hitting the road for about like a week and a half. It all kind of blurs together, but uh, it probably feels like longer than it actually has been. Okay. And do, now that's the, that's the king over there doing the sound check, which is, uh, do you hear that? that? That's amazing. And you get to hear that every night. Now tell us okay. about the DVD. Uh, well, it's actually really cool because as long as I've been with King, this is the first time we've been filming in that capacity. So uh, we've got a couple of dates on the tour. We'll be filming uh, the show in Philadelphia as well as Detroit. And we've also got some little filming going on uh, here and there some to get lots of different angles. So uh, I'm excited to see it all come together. I've seen a little bit of footage that we've already been working on, and uh, it's really just wild to see it. Tell us a little bit about your roles. Um, well, Grandma, you know, everybody knows Grandma. She's yeah. uh, she's the number one. 
Uh, but especially with um, with the Abigail tour, you know, Miriam is somebody who I get to, to play a lot of it. And um, this, you know, mostly this tour and a lot of Miriam stuff. So. So it's not just a metal show. It's a, it's a it's a theatrical production. Yeah, um, that's one that I think is really cool. It's funny because I mean I'm a metal girl myself, so I like everything from you know dirty basement shows to full on production. But for me, um, you know I'm always involved in visual arts, so seeing something like come to life I think is just awesome. And I've heard other people come to the show and walk out and say, you know I didn't just go to a show. I just went to theater. So I think it's pretty awesome to see a production. Well, it's tonight the House of Blues, and uh, you can see, if you don't catch, catch Jody with King Diamond, uh, she, there, she's actually going to be on tour uh, through the, the, the rest of the tour throughout the rest of the United States rather than just Las Vegas tonight. And uh, you catch her on that DVD sometime soon as King Diamond uh, releases that, the Abigail Live, and uh, it's, it's pretty exciting. So can't wait to see you out there. Thank you. I can't wait to get out there. Awesome. Hey, Al, Thanks. Where can I find Jody's artwork? I don't know. Uh, well, so I have my own website. Uh, it's just my name, jodycashia.com. Um, well, spell it. Cashia. <laughs> yeah, that's a little tricky for people. Uh, it's C-A-C-H-I-A. Um, so I host some stuff on there. Um, my visual work is mostly uh, illustration is what I've been focusing on lately, but... I do, um, you know, everything from painting, sculpting. Uh, my background's in graphic design. Um, I did get to work on uh, on the set for this tour a little bit, so that was a, a cool, another cool project and something I hope to get my hands more into in the future. Awesome. So not only is she part of the show, she's part of the set design as well. So anybody out there looking for a, a major talent here in Jody, go ahead and do that. So JodyCassia.com. Absolutely. All right, that's it for me, Sweet Al, over here at the House of Blues. King Diamond tonight, Buzz TV. Thank you, guys. How's it going, everybody? My name is Chris, and this is Ted. This is Bob, and we're the Atomic Case Lab from New Jersey.
Master to Bodega Lights and Sound But in her heart she's broken Oh Across the boulevard she is a And she left me like the wind with the gypsy soul. 